So if you see in this problem, you need to calculate EVA of the project. Okay, so for the EVA, I told you the formula that EVA, you need EVIT one minus T minus WACC into capital expenditure. Capital expenditure here will be this only 5,000 rupees would be your capital expenditure. Okay, how will you find EVIT? EBIT you can find right if you subtract from your revenue this is revenue 6000 if you subtract your cost cost is 4000 if you subtract 4000 from 6000 you will get EBIT and then 30% is the tax if you deduct from this you will get EBIT 1 minus T okay and then how will you find WACC WACC you can find very easily you know the formula debt equity ratio is given, cost to equity is given, cost of debt is given, you can find WACC. Okay, this post tax, this is post tax, not pre-tax. So you can find WACC here. So if I find WACC guys, so if I solve this, WACC calculation, the cost to equity into weight of equity, cost of debt into weight of debt into one minus T. So your WACC weight of equity, you can see debt in equity ratio here is 4 is to 5. Debt equity ratio here is 4 is to 5 guys. So your debt by value that would be 4 by 9. Weight of equity, this is weight of equity, weight of debt. And weight of equity would be, weight of equity would be 5 by 9. So you can understand this. So weight of equity is 5 by 9. Cost of equity, we don't have to struggle. In earlier problem, what we did, you remember, we found cost of equity by CAPM model. Here is given 18%. So we don't have to do all that. Weight of debt is 4 by 9. And this is post-tax cost of debt. Means after payment of tax. That is 9%. So you can easily find WACC. WACC will be 10 plus 4. This will be 14%. So I got my WACC. Capital expenditure is already known to me. Capital expenditure is how much? It is 5000. No? Capital expenditure is 5000. Yes. So I can find WACC into capital expenditure 14% of 5000. 14 fives are 70. So this would be 700. 14% of 5000, that would be 700. Now I need EBIT 1 minus T. Okay. So for EBIT 1 minus T, what, how to do that? Calculation of no PAT if I do. Calculation of EBIT 1 minus T if I try to do. So what is the life? Life is four year. So I'll write year one, then two, then three, then four. What is your revenue? Your revenue is six thousand. Revenue is six thousand. Less your cost. If you deduct your cost from this, cost is four thousand. Cost is 4000. So you will get earning before depreciation, interest, and tax. This would be 2000. 2000, 2000, 2000. So from this, you have to subtract the depreciation. How to find the depreciation, guys? So depreciation you can find by straight line method. Depreciation calculation. I believe you are from commerce students, so you know all this. Depreciation calculation by straight line method. So I'll follow straight line method and I can calculate my depreciation. That would be your original value minus your salvage value divided by life of the project. So depreciation original value. 5000 scrap value you can see zero life four years so you'll get one two five zero 
once you get the depreciation as 1250 1250 1250 1250 you will get ebit 750 750 750 750 so once you get ebit 750 you can deduct tax tax is how much tax is 30 percent so you can find some 30% of 750, uh, that will be 225 if I'm not wrong. 225, calculate 3 75 3 15, 1 carry, 22, yeah. So you can find EBIT 1 minus T. So to subtract, you'll get 2 and this will be 5, 525. So once you get EBIT 1 minus P, okay, then you deduct this. Once you get this EBIT 1 minus P, okay, deduct this from EBIT 1 minus P, deduct WACC into initial investment. WACC into initial investment was 700. 700. So your EVA economic value added, this would be minus, no? How much you will get? 175, minus 170. This is the value what you will get. 